Keep moving. I'm in no mood to chat. They knew that Goblin Spawn would put a dagger in our backs. Siraj never could pass up a pretty face. This bracelet was given to my ancestors by King Sahel. Siraj always wore it. Take this and thanks. Boopt could guide you. I wish I was off again. Did you do it? Did you kill the Goblin King? By kind, you did it. I've been expecting them to attack the town any minute. Bosek tossed me out when I tried to warn him. Said he'd have my head if I didn't shut up. He'll never know you saved his town for him. If it's not goblins, it'll be something else tomorrow. I swear this town is cursed. That bastard! If you're looking for that bastard Jakan, he's at the tavern with a Red Guard girl. I overheard him telling a Red Guard girl he'd whisk her off to Sentinel. That he was a ship captain, she swooned like a fool, like I did. I'd tell the headman where he's hiding if I didn't hate the headman more. I need off this island! Didn't want to stop reading. I don't like to talk. I like to drink. Bye, locally, walkers. And what might you want? You don't know. You're not with Bosek, are you? No, you don't look dumb enough. So tell me this, if I was planning something, why would I need you? He's an odd one, but I might have use for his particular skills. He could be just the thing for a heist I have planned. Get me Naramo, and I'll cut you both in on our take. Deal? You're in. I've got some preparations to make, and then we're as good as gone. I'm looking forward to getting back to the open seas. Not here. Too many of Bosek's ears around. I sent Lambor to scout out a nice, quiet spot to gather our crew. Look for her at our hideout by the docks. I'll slip out and meet you there. If any of the Bloody Fists ask what you're up to, just tell them you're out for a stroll. Don't mess with the Fists. Glad to see you made it out. Hey now, the headman stole it first, and you brought it back to me, didn't you? Thanks, good looking. Yes, yes I do. I know someone on the island who can make us both rich. If you're up for another job, I think it's time you met her.
is gone. I don't know why they didn't just kill us all. Help me, please. They've stolen my Iriana. A horde of damned sea drakes attacked our camp. They kidnapped Iriana, left me and the rest for dead. Please rescue her. They took her over the hill to their camp around the shipwreck. Shamal, too. Maybe they're already dead. She's the love of my life. I promised to take her away from Stros Makai. Then the Sea Drakes attacked and took her and Shamal. I'll never see her again. Shamal must leave this evil place. Thank you. I'll try to make it back to Trelan. No, no sense running back to town just to have you die on me. That was neatly done, the way you got Iriana and Shamal back. That Sea Drake attack was the last straw. Iriana and I are going back to town and not leaving until we find a ship off this damned island. Iriana, we need to go. It's not safe here. Fine, you stubborn fool. Margrob and Othbug, keep an eye on Shamal. You got it, Iriana. I need help. Help! Help me! They're after me! The sea drakes. When it gets foggy, like last night, they play tricks with the lighthouse. Lure ships aground. The Maiden's Breath, my ship, they lured us in and wrecked us. Drowned or captured. Captain Larissa's looking for them. You heard of crafty Larissa, right? Anyway, I'm through. No more sailing for me. You want to find the captain? Just look for her monkey, Howler.
Well, you aren't at all what I was expecting. Let's talk. What brings you to this trash pit? Sneak up on you? It's what I do. Now answer my question. What are you doing here? Oh, charming. The maiden's wrecked on the sandy shore. As for crafty Larissa, you found her. Just in time, too. Captain Helene Seadrakes have my crew. I won't leave without them. Help me rescue them, and I'll owe you a favor. We're going to disguise my crew as Seadrakes. Take these clothes. Look for a portly Breton, a sour redguard, and a big orc. The Drakes are keeping them in the large buildings. Once they're out, meet me by Helene's ship. Look for hampers with clothes, or kill a sea drake and take theirs. Put on their clothes and you'll look just lovely. Oh, do watch out for the sea drakes with torches. They're not drunk. If you get too close, they'll spot you and alert the others. Remember, you can take clothes from hampers or off-dead sea drakes. Oh, and try not to get killed. Sit down, warm your bones. If you're going to kill me, get it over with. Ha. Huh. Another of Helene's tricks. Let me go, then chase me down and beat me within an inch of my life. I'll chance it and make a run for Port Hunding. See how far I get. Word of advice. Don't let them capture you. If you can't get away, die fighting. Choke and die, Sea Drake. I'll spit on your grave. I knew she wouldn't leave me to rot. Quick, untie me. The Sea Drake spent the past few hours breaking my fingers. I can't wield a sword, but I can still strangle a few on my way out. These Sea Drakes give pirates a bad name. Kill every last one of them you see. Don't beat me again! Thank the Eight! I thought I'd die in here! Helene came by not long ago. Told me to look forward to a public flaying. Then she beat me bloody, laughing the whole time. She's one cold witch! Stay away from Helene. She's a monster. Welcome sight. I've rescued everyone but Crenard, Herdin, and Meacock. Any luck? Almost done then. Everyone's out except my first mate, Dara Gore. They've got him in the belly of Helene's ship. You'll find the keys below deck. Look for Dara Gore down and back.
I'm not telling you anything, scum. What have you done with Captain Larissa? Yeah? Ha! <laughs> I knew she got away. Helene said she was being keel-hauled and beaten, but I knew better. They don't call my Captain Crafty for nothing. Get me out of these ropes, and let's get out of here. Captain Larissa never leaves anyone behind. Make sure she's safe. Wait. You're not my... What have you... Did you poison me? Hi, Captain. Are you feeling okay? I'll gut you like a stuck pig. Cut your eyes out. Roast you. Like you did my crew? No. Ah. That won't happen again. Oh, she fell down. My, that felt good. Me? Did I do that? Her starving little cabin girl may have poisoned her drink. Who can say? Did Daragor get out? I'll just be going then. I told my crew to gather on the beach. I'm going to make sure they all made it out. Meet me there and we'll square up. My crew's safe, and only a little bit tortured. I call that a win. Many a captain who sails these waters will be glad of that news. Now, let's talk favors. I owe you a big one. If the Maiden's breath wasn't rotting on the beach, I'd happily oblige, considering all you've done for us. But no ship, no ride. I do know someone who might give us a job, though. A job that just might get us both off this rock. Yes? Do you have something for me? Just what my sphere needs. Uh, just give me a minute, then throw that switch over there. Ah, oh, good. I believe this will work. One never knows what's going to happen when working on Dwemer devices. Now throw the lever, and we will see what happens. Oh, research never goes as one expects. I'm amazed it worked at all. But thanks to you, I've made remarkable strides today. Narama will be thrilled. Uh, please take this for your good work. I must say that my research does not often produce such spectacular results. So much to do. Most so gratifying.
We've got a crew to rival the legends. Time to make some money, don't you agree? Now we're ready for the real challenge, the heist. The target's Bosek. That slimy bastard's finally going to get what's coming to him. We're going to steal his sailing logs. His sailing logs are the key to our fortune, friend. They're the records of every ship that's docked here, every stolen cargo they've unloaded, and every illicit payment made to Bosek. Those records are worth a fortune to King Vaharajad. They're written proof that Bosek has violated the King's order to stop raiding Breton shipping. With those papers in hand, the King can threaten to destroy Bosek if he doesn't stop. Absolutely. His envoy is on the dock now, waiting. As soon as we turn over the sailing logs, he gives us a fortune in gold. The trick will be getting into Bosek's palace, stealing the logs, and getting out with them. That's your job. First, you need a servant's disguise to get into the palace. The papers are in a lockbox on the top floor. Bosek has the only key. Slip this powder into his drink, then grab the key. The lockbox is always guarded. The guard's not bright, but he'll raise the alarm if anyone tries to open the box. Deal with him quietly. No stabbing. Lambor and I will have the ship ready to sail when you return with the papers. Oh, yes, hello. This is fascinating. Did you know the Dwemer had devices to rapidly mince fruit? I can offer help with the guard, perhaps. You wish to deal with him quietly, correct? I removed this device from Clanker. When pressed, it produces quite the incapacitating shock. If you would test it for me, preferably on a living subject, I would be grateful. Let me know if there are any lingering effects. Twitching, mainly. I'm quite curious about the twitching. They just lure ships onto the rocks and strip the wreck. All true, Malerl. Yet at least we would earn coin. It's a wonderful day for a sailing trip, isn't it, friend? Especially if it gets me off this rock before Bosek chops off my head. Bosek keeps the key around his neck, cinched steel. I'll get the key off Bosek. Meet me out back. Get your disguise and meet me out back. Leave Bosek to me. Mm, quite the motley crew, aren't we? She's right. You need a disguise to get anywhere near Bosek. Fortunately, you have me. Just say the word and I can have servant clothes waiting for you at the palace. My pleasure. Meet me outside the palace. I'll pick out something special for you. who's come to pay a visit. Oh yes, try these on. I'm sure they'll fit you just right. In the meantime, I'll just continue my sweep of the palace. his bones what is it now shouted at you too did he he just went out back to carouse with the latest slatterns from the mainland best hurry up and refill his drink you don't want him running out of drink Holy servant, you're just in time. My dear friend Headman Bosek is sleeping off the attentions of these two lovely ladies. They are quite a handful, and an eyeful too. Why don't you take the good Headman's key inside for safekeeping?
My friend, welcome back. Do you have some good news? Here you are, Tharwab. The shipping logs that show Bosek's defiance of the King's decrees. Come on, it's time to go. On your feet, man your stations. Prepare to sail. Finally, home to Betnik. I've missed my clan. Before we leave for Betnik, talk to the crew. Get familiar with them. It'll be a long trip. Then we leave for Betnik, an orc island that hasn't yet joined the Covenant. I hope to change that. Lembor's happy to go home. She may try to thank you with ale. My advice? Make it to six mugs. You'll have a friend for life. When my crew turned traitor, I never thought I'd see Betnik again. Feels good. Head into town and get a drink. This is home, and we'll be here for a while. Here's your cut of the take from the heist. Careful here. These orcs aren't yet part of the Covenant, but I'm working on that. Feel free to check out Stonetooth Fortress. Maybe you'll meet a nice orc.